At Involta, we drive innovation at the edge. Our mission is rooted in partnership across all levels, from people to process to technology. We've been orchestrating IT transformation for nearly two decades, delivering cybersecurity and managed services for hybrid, edge, and multi-cloud projects and environments. Involta's business was built, delivering to the most complex and demanding industries, enabling us to serve mission-critical applications for enterprises of all kinds. Aloha and welcome back to JSA TV Live, the newsroom for tech, telecom, and data center professionals. I'm Buffy Harakidis coming to you live from PTC 23, the biggest PTC to date. And we are here wrapping up the final day. Uh, the floor is still buzzing. The sun is still shining here in sunny Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, but joining me today, we have Jim Bui. Uh, he is the president and CEO of Involta. Uh, Jim, welcome back to JSA TV live here in Hawaii. Aloha. Glad to be with you again. This is great. It what is. a great conference. Yeah, it's been a great conference. I mean, we've seen news from Involta like all over. Uh, the news screens here at PTC 23 yesterday. Why don't you tell viewers a little bit more about that news, uh, the appointment of a new CFO for Involta? Yeah, yeah. so Carl Gorlick, who's been in the industry for quite a while, uh, he ha he's a great operational background, great financial background, but really for Involta, instrumental. We, uh, right going into COVID a couple of years ago, he was responsible for putting a new debt facility in place. And then most recently, uh, our new equity partner, Carlisle, which we're celebrating right. our one year anniversary with Carlisle. Uh, but Carl Gordelick was instrumental in that. So I'm so proud of him. You know, in a tight labor market like we have, you want to keep your talent. And Carl's one of those guys that is very talented and will help us drive growth in the company. Yeah, well, that's exciting. Uh, congrats, Carl, if you're watching. <laughs> uh, congrats on the appointment of uh, becoming the CFO of Volta. Uh, and congrats on the one year anniversary of the Carlisle Thank you. Uh, investment. I mean, I can't believe it's been a year. I know. It seems know. like yesterday we were uh, launching that big, exciting news. Yeah. Uh, so for viewers that might not know, I mean, I know we dived right into yeah. the announcement about Carl because it's been everywhere here at PTC 23. Uh, why don't you tell viewers a little bit more about Involta that might not already know? You bet. Yeah. So we uh, first, I should say, we've been in business now for 15 years uh, as a business, and we are a, a secondary market edge data center and services company. So we help companies and we're targeted toward middle market enterprise and large enterprise. And we really specialize in helping companies with their infrastructure needs as well as their digital transformation, the services to support that. Uh, so we uh, have really grown the business. I think where our niche and our expertise really comes in for our clients, we've grown up on the most complex verticals. Right. So we specialize in healthcare, manufacturing, and financial services. We've really learned from those industries how to serve all of enterprise, middle market and large enterprise in a quality way, whether it's compliance, cybersecurity, or just secure and reliable infrastructure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you guys are like the pioneers of edge. I mean, I think you kind of <laughs> held I back know. a little bit on do, that one, do but we you are copyright one of, that term at a <laughs> we, we should. Uh, we definitely <laughs> should. So um, amazing uh, things coming ahead for 2023 for Involta. We were just kind of talking about that, but yeah. we take a step back to 2022. Yeah. Uh, there was some big news and expansion of your Independence Data Center yep. um, in the Cleveland market. So why don't you talk a little bit about that and yeah. what's going on in the Cleveland market? I mean, it's definitely exploding there. So Cleveland's a great market. You know, we've been there for a long time and we're over, you talk about Ohio, middle of the country. Uh, we have over 10 megawatts of uh, data center space there now. So that was a big milestone for us. But when I think about Cleveland and its proximity to the East Coast right. and just other major markets, it's a great disaster recovery spot. Um, you know, and I, I think what I see with Cleveland uh, and really Northeast Ohio, uh, first I should say we're, we're the only company that's providing sub millisecond fiber connectivity as well as uh, direct liquid cooling for high performance compute, supercomputing, high density 
so I think we, ha we have a nice niche in that market. And those types of workloads and applications in the middle of the country where it's, you know, it's a great place to have your infrastructure and your data. Um, I, I think we're going to continue to see great growth and even the secular trends. Northeast Ohio, we're, we're working with the economic development teams to bring manufacturing back on shore. Cleveland's a natural landing spot yeah. for those types of businesses. And Embolta wants to be there to help solve those problems. Well, I mean, it definitely was an exciting year uh, for Envolta in 2022. Probably the biggest year ever uh, in the company's it history. It is. So. Record-breaking year. Yeah. And now we're heading into 2023. Uh, what are some of the trends that you're seeing as yeah. one of our thought leaders here in tw for 2023, especially when it comes to, like, sustainability and yeah. Give us some insight there, Jim. No, spot on. I think, um, like we said, high density applications, so driven by AI, ML, AR, VR, those types of things, we're seeing really high density. So being able to cool, you know, chipsets are hotter and you got to be able to handle that in your data center. So that's that's primary trend we're seeing. I, I would say uh, peering and connectivity, which we talked about, uh, you know, being in the edge for a long time now, right. 15 years, connectivity is really important and low latency matters. Uh, and then sustainability. I mean, not only, um, you know, do we want as a company be a good corporate citizen, but really our customers at this point in, in the industry, um, they're demanding sustainability yeah. and, and we're glad to be on the forefront of that. Yeah. I mean, we are so glad to have you as part of the Greener Data mission, hashtag yep. Greener Data. Uh, and Volta is definitely a uh, member of our movement. Yeah. Uh, so we're happy to have you involved in the Greener Data uh, movement and our Greener Data directory as well that we just launched uh, here at PTC. Uh, so I know you're heading on a panel soon today, right? Yeah. Uh, why don't you give us some information about what you plan on speaking on there? Yeah, I think we'll come up, cover some of those to topics, you know, some of the trends in the industry, really see what problems enterprises are facing and how uh, our industry is solving for them. So I'm really proud to be part of that panel. I think the, uh, enterprises continue to face what I call the triple squeeze. So companies, CEOs of, of uh, enterprises have to deal with inflation, a tight labor market, uh, you know, which uh, talent is something that our industry uh, can bring to them. And then supply chain issues and using technology to solve those problems. So a lot of the panel will be talking about how are we as an industry helping enterprise in those areas and really you know if you depending on which economists you believe it's a slowdown or a full recession or a two to three year slowdown that's where our industry can really help yeah, enterprise i agree well we're excited to see you on that panel coming All up right. soon uh so if you're here at ptc be sure to check that out uh what's coming up uh otherwise for in volta in 2023 anything else you want to share yeah you know growth we're going to dominate our existing markets we're going to expand to one or two new markets a year okay. uh and and we have a proven capability for that adding some new products and services to help these enterprises uh and really at the end of the day just enabling our clients to really change their worlds whether it's patient outcomes in healthcare or uh, improving the supply chain for manufacturing or financial services, getting those closer customers. We, we just want to enable our clients to change their world. So excited to do that in 23. Yeah, we're excited to to be here uh, as as a partner of Involta's for so long now, uh, going on three years. So thank yeah. you so much for your Happy support. three year anniversary. Yes, uh, three years for <laughs> us. JSA and Involta. <laughs> Um, and one year anniversary of the big news that came out of Involta last year with the Carlisle acquisition. Congrats to Carl. Uh, where can viewers go if they want to learn more, Jim, about Involta? Yeah, www.involta.com. And be sure to follow them on LinkedIn and Twitter, Twitter. and Facebook as well. Yeah. Uh, www.involta.com. Thank you, viewers, for tuning in. Thank you, Jim, uh, for joining us for another fabulous episode of JSA TV Live from PTC 23. Happy networking. At Involta, we drive innovation at the edge. Our mission is rooted in partnership across all levels, from people to process to technology.
We've been orchestrating IT transformation for nearly two decades, delivering cybersecurity and managed services for hybrid, edge, and multi-cloud projects and environments. And Volta's business was built, delivering to the most complex and demanding industries, enabling us to serve mission-critical applications for enterprises of all kinds.